First off, what we're going to do is going to process this clay layer into a mesh layer. The way to do this is by two different methods. You can either go to the texture menu here, and we'll it will give you a dialog where you can auto prepare your model, or if you want to fine tune it better, you can go into the prepare mesh menu. In this case, because I want symmetry on both sides, and I want the mesh to follow that symmetry as well, I will go into prepare mesh. You get me? Now you're presented with this dialog. This dialog will give you a different set of options that you can use to fine fine tweak your mesh model. So in this case, as you can see, I have a target that it has just me. Uh, I'm going to choose for it to be a character, organic. And the purpose of this one is I'm going to use it for, I could use it for image videos uh, so I can record that. And I can either choose to do for a, a desktop or console or a mobile version. And as you can see, if I change these options, these adjusted target will change accordingly. Now this is a simplified version of mesh processing. There's also an advanced version of mesh processing. Here you can see how complex the mesh is. And I want something much, much uh, simplified than this type of mesh uh, in order for me to texture. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go into the advanced mode and here in the advanced mode, I'm allowed to remesh with the symmetry on it. So what it'll do is remesh according to the center of uh, the sculpt outwards. So in this case, I want the, to remesh the symmetry on the x-axis. And I want to reduce the polygons to an 18%, which is going to give me around 40,000 polygons out of the 220 that I have on the face itself. I can take this a lot lower. And in fact, I could... Uh, Bring it down to like a 10% of it. It's going to be around 20. There. By selecting color aware, if I were to have this in many colors, it would it would make the mesh follow according to the type of colors that I have applied. However, this uh, this is I'm not related to, to what I need right now. Uh, coverage adaptation, I can leave it like that. And detecting hard edges, this is an organic shape that doesn't have too many hard edges. I'll leave it at that as well. And I'll just show my uh, my polygon so I can see the changes that it, it goes through. And we're going to go through a target polygon of around 22,000 polygons. So if that is how I want it, I just clicked, click on Accept. And it'll go through the process of mesh processing. It's decimating the character. And now after decimating, it's going to go through the remesh process. Once remeshing is done, it's done the color sampling. And now my mesh is going to be much better. So I'm going to go now again to prepare mesh because I want this mesh also to have uh, UVs. And in this case, when you do it advanced, the UVs are not added to that. You need to go to the Auto UV map and select Auto UV as well. And in this case, it doesn't have vertex colors, but if you have painted your model with vertex colors, you can retain those vertex colors as a texture as well. So I could check here and it will remain gray in this case. And I could check on the normals so, so it can also follow the different contours that uh, that my or the complexities that the mesh has so now that all of this is how i need it i'll just go back to and enable the retopology and as you can see the retopology has improved a lot from the previous the previous topology that i had so go back to auto map and click accept and now it's gonna take me through the process of auto uv and spreading out the uvs and once that's finished, I'm going to be able to texture on the character.